Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, if you're wondering why we're back at the entrance to Treasure Tove Cove, I decided to cut out a little bit of backtracking after we got the code just to save us a bit of a trip. But you guys haven't missed much. Yeah, you just missed lots of cool down time where I got something to eat and got the tingling in my face to go down. Yes. Uh, keep us all updated, Midori. Everybody's on their edge of the seats. The diarrhea was terrible. TMI. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this is something that I don't really like. It, it was in the original game too, which is why it kind of baffles me why they didn't change this. While the notes stay gone um, once you've collected them, everything else in the world pretty much uh, resets whenever you leave it. So every time you want to come back in here to enter a code, you have to uh, you have to redrain the uh, the moat that the sand castle is in. You got to kill this guy again before you can actually start putting in the code. Like it's a small thing, but it is very annoying. Yeah, first world problems. Yes, very much first world problems. But like I said, it's it's noticeable, especially with how good the rest of the game is. Where's that G? Where is it? Maybe it's in the other there corner. There it is. Oh. <coughs> the G Excuse is me. next to the green floor. Midori, this is not Dora the Explorer. You don't need to point out the colors of things. S is right over <laughs> there. There it is. I found it. So now... We've entered it in, and now we can carry 200 eggs total. And that's basically what the cheats do, is for each one, it will double one of the uh, items that you can carry. The second one, it's going to double the amount of red feathers we can carry. And the third one will double the amount of gold feathers we can carry. You interrupted Gruntilda. I oh, well. Was, I was very interested in hearing her rhyme. Oh, well, there will be plenty more throughout the game, don't worry. <clears throat> but we won't hear that one ever again. Midori, don't start. <laughs> we have to restart the session. No, we don't. <laughs> Especially since this game auto-saves, so we no. can't go back. <clears throat> Which is one of the nerve-wracking things about doing a Let's Play uh, with a game like this, because if something screws up, God forbid. And there's nothing you can do. <laughs> oh, you laugh, but uh, it's going to be just as disappointing for you as it is for me. Why? Because, well, you're part of this too. You're part of this operation. You get through this game so fast. I'm just along for the ride. I suppose... <gasps> you broke that brick wall. It wasn't laid out very well if I can just knock it over. What if it was alive but asleep? Do you even listen to yourself when you talk sometimes? No. Great, now we've got that little... Uh, we've got that bit of silence in there. I'm going to think something screwed up while I'm editing this. <laughs> You're the one that went silent. Because sometimes I just cannot process the things that come out of your mouth. And you love me for it. Yes, we've already established that I love you very much. Yay. Even though you are a weirdo. Even though I am tired. Really? You're tired? Yeah, a little bit. But I'll survive. It'll just make me punchy. <laughs> Nothing better than a punchy wolfess. I suppose. Because it means more lol random. See, here's another one. I don't like stairs much in my lair. They always make me gasp for air. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hashtag relatable. <laughs> <laughs> we get you, Gruntilda. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Yeah, so we've got to go a bit further into the lair to find the next, um... You got that the next place to go. Yep. I like picking those up. They make fun sounds. Here we go. 
Yeah. Why did you need to do that? Because it was funny. But what if you needed to bounce on that web? You don't. Again, I've played through this game a million, billion, trillion times at this point. I know pretty much everything I need to do. And I'm not trying to say that makes me better than anybody else. It's just like, at, at this point, there's there's no mystery about this game for me. Which I guess for some people would make it less enjoyable to play, but... Well, if you want some mystery, then why don't we find out whatever happened to Robot Jones? Again, what does that have to do with the conversation I was trying to have with the audience? <laughs> Absolutely nothing! I'm over here having a nice talk with them, and then you come along with your, your random things about Cartoon Network shows nobody ever watched or cared about. <gasps> How dare! <laughs> Prove me wrong. I cared. Okay, one out of uh, like millions of people. Like, what were the ratings for that show like? Exactly. Why don't you tell me? I Mr. can't. Mister knows everything about old shows. I can't. I'm playing the game. I need to concentrate. Well, I can't reach my computer with this microphone in the way. Then so... I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree. I'm right. You're wrong. <laughs> that is not how it works, young man. It is in my mind. So anyway, <laughs> this is uh, Freeze Easy Peak. Welcome to the only world in the game that we actually will have to backtrack to. There's a single jiggy in this game that is impossible to get your first time through because it requires the running shoes... Which you don't get until, uh, you don't get until the next world, Gobi's Valley. Isn't that nice? No, no, it's not. Well, isn't that cute? But it's wrong! And just like that, the, you peaked our audio. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least I didn't throw in a foghorn. It's just... It, it bothers me a little bit because this is the only time in the game that it happens. <laughs> Shut up, it's slippery. <laughs> it's the only time in the game when it happens. And this game was not built with backtracking in mind, which is why there's only one instance of it in the, in the entire game. I might not like Banjo-Tooie as much as Banjo-Kazooie, but at least the backtracking was built into that game. You make it sound like it was a good thing. <laughs> uh... Well, <laughs> my feelings on that game are a bit complicated. <coughs> Backtracking only works in, like, RPGs where there's an entire section of an area that you can't go to. Or, like, it creates a whole new section of story in that area with whole new things to do and people to interact with and things and stuff. See, that even that is debatable. Do you hate the backtracking in Dragon Quest Eleven? Yes. Well. But here's the thing. The backtracking in that game is completely mitigated by the fact that they give you the zoom spell very early on. So, you don't even really need to do any backtracking in that game. Well, that's a fair way of putting Whoops. it. Wow, even even the ice in the water wants nothing to do with you. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's just basically the game's way of telling me, hey, you're going to freeze to death if you stay in the water in here. And after this, we'll also have one more that's going to have, like, a, a hazardous um, material that we're not going to be able to stand in. Which one is that? Uh, Gobi's Valley. They have uh, sand... Like, big rivers of it that are full of sand eels. Okay. Hey, that's the game's, uh... That's the game's explanation, not mine. Anyway, first things first, I'm going to just get rid of all of these snowmen because they are so... So annoying. Are we gonna make snowmen when there's snow outside? Probably. Are we going to make 
snowman horror? Uh, well... Like Calvin and Hobbes? Well, we could give it a try. I want to build a snowman around a tree so it looks like he's impaled <laughs> on it. Well, now you've just ruined the fun for everybody because they know what to expect. There's lots of snowman horror we could make. Yes, but you don't go telling people what you're going to make. It, it ruins it. Everybody knows that Christmas goes well with horror. Well, yeah, that's the reason why we have movies like uh, The Krampus and Santa's Sleigh. And Silent Night, Deadly Night. And Silent Light, Silent Night, Deadly Night 2. I'm pretty sure that light is very silent, honey. I just made a mistake in saying the name. Why, why you gotta be mean to me? I'm not being mean. I'm just educating you like you constantly do for our viewers. D well, I'm just... That's explaining <laughs> things about the game. You are making a joke about my mispronunciation. I am not. I'm just telling you how to pronounce it. Exactly! <laughs> and I immediately corrected myself, so now you're just being a jerk. <laughs> you jerkish, jerky jerk. You're being cute. I am so lucky I didn't slam into the wall there. <laughs> Would that have ended your flight? Um... Probably not, but it would have made it very, uh, it, it would have made it very difficult to, uh, to get my bearings. It would have get, damaged me, that's for sure. And we don't want no damaged goods around here. No, not at all. I'd like to lick a lemon lollipop. <laughs> and again, what does that have to do with anything? Like I said, I'm punchy. We've, we've got to make sure you get more sleep the next time we do this. Sweetie, I got plenty of sleep. We've just been doing this for over two hours. Oh no, a whole two hours. Do you know how long I spend recording stories every Saturday when I'm actually feeling well? I do not, but do you know how long my attention span is? Uh, not long enough, apparently. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> well, at least you admit it. <coughs> The first step to fixing a problem is admitting that you have one. <laughs> Were you an armchair psychiatrist now, too? What are you, laughing or just coughing? I'm just coughing. It was very well timed. Thank you. You missed a snowman! Get up! Get a snowman! There we go. That's better. I he's, feel good now. He's dead, Jim. Ah. Uh. Okay. Now the airwaves are safe. We can take care of this stuff. Now we can fly. Don't you dare start getting tired dirt on me. I wasn't being tired. I was talking in a goofy voice. And while you were yawning. I was not yawning. If you talk about yawning, you're going to make the audience yawn. And then they're going to get tired. And then they're going to think that our Let's Plays are boring. And then they're going to go to bed. Well, I mean, they're not wrong. Do you want people to go to bed? If it's if it's late where they are, yes. You're taking it from the wrong side. There we go. I hated this when I was younger. This one too. This was another really annoying one. Now that I know the trick, it's um, it's really easy to do. Yeah, I think I got the uh, pattern messed up. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to beat it this time. Here we go. <sighs> Almost messed that up bad. Make myself look bad. Midori, you're making me look bad. Why did those crocodiles want to eat the sentient Christmas lights? Because they were twinkly munchers. They munch on twinklies. That is their entire purpose. Where's the logic? What? <coughs> don't don't question it, Midori. This is a this is a, a world where Christmas lights are sentient and have eyeballs and can feel pain. I want an old school cartoon character. 
It's relevant. It's technically relevant. Technically. Like Bendy and the Ink Machine. Well, yeah, but that's a horror game. That's using the old aesthetic for scares. And it only barely does that, really. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think it's it's come a long way since its first episode, but, like, the aesthetic only carries it so far. Yeah. Yeah. And now I've just made enemies all throughout the land. Enemies as compared to me saying that Cowboy Bebop is not the best anime? Well, it's. I think it's pretty comparable. I mean, have you seen some of the fans of Benny and the Ink Machine? They are ravenous and rabid. I have and not... other words that start with R. I have not actually seen any of the fans of Benny <coughs> and the Ink Machine. Aside from Sol <laughs> Shalone SK, uh, sorry for calling you out, Shalone. I know that you enjoy it, and I have enjoyed your work for a very long time, and I am enjoying your recent cartoony persona. I enjoy it. Cute little uh, flying cat with the uh, literal vampire bat dude who is like kind of being shipped with your character. Like it's it's cute and entertaining and really old school style and I like it. It's funny. It's cute. It's nice. Yeah, they're probably never gonna see this video. Probably not, <laughs> but like I, I felt like saying something nice about her. I've I've followed her since back when uh, Skylanders first came out, <laughs> and I've seen like the progression of her work from like the uh, the old school. I mean the uh, the new iteration of Looney Tunes, all the different Skylanders stuff that she did, including all her crack ships, like just. All that stuff. And now I completely forgot about another thing that I was going to talk about before that. Well, then talk about it now. Oh, I... wait, you forgot. That's what you were saying. Okay, smarty booty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not firing on all cylinders right now. I, I'm trying to avoid cursing so that you don't have more work to do. I appreciate it. That's just such a stupid rule, by the way. <clears throat> Excuse me. I mean, swearing, like, swearing isn't even that big of a deal nowadays, I don't think. I remember what I was talking about, old school cartoon characters. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're going to continue our current conversation, or do you want to go back to that? Uh, what's our current conversation? I've been talking about cursing on YouTube and how it's stupid that people are punished for doing it. What more is there to say about that? Uh, that it, well, I, I just feel it's important to reiterate the point that it's a, a, a dumb policy to have, especially when cursing has been a part of YouTube for a very long time, and uh, there's a reason why YouTube Kids exists, so that people can avoid stuff like that. I feel like reiterating that those log cabins look like they would be tasty if you made gingerbread houses that look like them. A uh, way to bring it back. <laughs> <coughs> Why did you just cough on me? Well, I gotta turn away from the mic. <laughs> it's your fault for sitting right across from me. This is where our seats are placed. Yes, and you placed your seat there. You missed the music note and had to go back for it. Wow, great comeback. You're good at this. And you're a fruitcake. Yes, I know. Fruitcake? Yeah, it's hard to do it when I acknowledge my faults, isn't it? Fruitcake? <laughs> She's got nothing, folks. Fruitcake! <laughs> and again, with the peaking. <laughs> you really are just out to make my job as difficult as possible, aren't you? Fruitcake! <laughs> She doesn't drink, I, I swear. I don't. I don't do any kinds of drugs. Drug free is the way to be. Yeah, she was one of those people who actually took those PSAs seriously. I am, actually. Like, I am the weird exception. Like, when I saw those 
dare things back in elementary school, I actually said to myself, I'm never going to smoke cigarettes or drink alcohol, and I never have. Really? Yes. Like, so many people want me to drink so badly. It's weird. I don't know why. It's like they think that I'm going to be entertaining or something if I drink alcohol. I don't know what the logic behind any of it is, but a lot of people have tried to convince me to drink or trick me into drinking. Like, it's weird. Like, people want to see me drink alcohol and they want me to get drunk. I don't know why, and I don't like it. I really don't. It's mostly been family members. <laughs> wow. You have a weird family. <laughs> like, I had a stepbrother that when he found out that I didn't drink alcohol, one day he came home with a six-pack of beers from around the world. Really? Yeah, each one was from a different country, and he was like, I'm going to find a beer that you like. <laughs> Even though you explicitly said you, you don't drink at all. Yes. So I took a sip of one and said... <clears throat> <laughs> then I took a sip of another one and said... <clears throat> <laughs> and at that point, that's when he realized that if I opened every single one and took a sip of every single one and didn't like every single one, then he wasted money. <laughs> so... <laughs> Instead, after the second one, he was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to drink these. <laughs> As it should be. Smart man. There we go. Delivered the presents, which will get me a, a jiggy. Get jiggy with it. Midori. <laughs> no. We've already been through this. <clears throat> Another time, my sister, she handed me this fruity beverage, <coughs> and she was like, here, try this. Like, we were just we were just at, at a, a restaurant. I This was when I lived in Louisiana, and there was a daiquiri shop every block. Really? Yes! That, that is not a... That is not a negative stereotype joke in Louisiana, like, specifically in New Orleans... Even in the outskirts of New Orleans in Metairie, where I lived, there were daiquiri shops almost every freaking block. <laughs> like, holy cow. And don't even get me started on Bourbon Street. Dear God, a anybody that likes alcohol, Bourbon Street is where you want to go. It is <laughs> kind of, uh, it's kind of uh, tough to think of it as anything else when you... Think of the name, you know. Yeah, but like, one of the most popular drinks back when I lived down there was something called a hand grenade. Basically, they gave you this like, tall, long as your torso plastic glass that like the bottom of it, the base of it was shaped like a grenade and they filled this giant Long Island freaking drink cup with some type of alcohol that was really all the rage back then. Uh-huh. But but, but I'm uh, diverging from where I started. Uh, my sister, she tried to get me to drink this uh, fruity beverage. Right. She's like, here, drink this. We're just at a uh, restaurant. I think that we're kind of downtown when we did this. And I took this drink, and right before I took a sip, without thinking about it, I froze. And I was like, wait, wait a second. Why did she randomly just hand me this drink? I slowly glance at her. I slowly glance back at the drink and I lean in and I sniff it. And I can smell alcohol like a hawk. You like, realize that hawks don't have a sense of smell, right? Like a basset hound. <laughs> Which is my Patronus on Harry Potter, the website. But, <laughs> but yeah, I can smell it like a basset hound. So I gave it a sniff, and I'm like, there's alcohol in this. And she's like, 
no, no, there's not. And I'm like, I can smell it, Hannah. And she's like, look, look, you can't even taste it. The the fruity beverage, like the fruit in it, diver diverts the, uh, and like what what was that? Dilutes. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> it dilutes the flavor, so you can't even t taste it. I'm like. I don't care if I can taste it or not. There's alcohol in this. I don't want to drink it. <laughs> she was so mad, but she drank it. <laughs> this has been life stories with Midori. <laughs> Drug free is the way to be. Ding! That, that's the sound of my teeth glinting. <laughs> I'm sure it is, yes. Hell, my brother... He 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 said that one day, like he doesn't know when, but one day he is going to get me to drink alcohol. Someday. Well, yeah, I wanna know what folks at home, I am twenty-nine years old and I have never drinking before. More than but, uh, oh, hold on. Drinking? You have never drinking before? Yes. You have never drank before. I have never drinking to drunkies. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> we don't get drunk off drunkies. <coughs> we don't get drunk at all. We're a very boring couple. <laughs> or at least that's what uh, people who drink tell us constantly. <laughs> yes, we'd be so much more entertaining... So we welcome drink. to the most boring sled race ever. Why are you sticking behind him? Uh, for the rubber banding AI that I said before. This is actually something where if you don't stick behind him, he can very easily overtake you at the last moment. So it's actually smartest in both this and the second boggy race, which is what we need to come back here for. It is the smarterest thing to do. Yes, it is the smart thing to do. Smarterest. Midori, you're making up words again. And you're making up a tasty angel food cake for me. Uh, no, I already baked you a carrot cake for your birthday back in August. You only get one a year. But there's more carrot cake <laughs> batter in there. You can make that carrot cake. But the one I made you was from scratch, so it's automatically better. It is, but I still like it. <laughs> I, I I am a I am a weird creature. I am a wolf that meows and eats carrots. I think the audience has already figured out that you're a weird creature. If they're still with us by this point and they haven't shut off the video in fear, then they are my friends from DeviantArt. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I was worried that he had actually um <laughs> he had actually beaten me. You were so distracted. <laughs> Yes, yes, I was. I forgot to actually uh, get in front of him there for a second. <laughs> but I still managed to come from behind victory. <clears throat> okay, there's only other, only one other one that we can get here. Can't you raise him a second time? Yeah, as Banjo and Kazooie, but you can't beat him unless you have the, uh, the speed shoes. The running shoes. The for... speed shoes, the running shoes, the for run, running run. man. Yeah. The ones that make you go run, Forest run. The ones that make you run like a bear. Kazooie's the one that wears them. And she runs so fast like a bear! Are bears fast? Why don't we ask people that have been attacked by bears? Why would you want to traumatize them? Make them relive their horrible experiences. You're a terrible person, Midori. Hey, I'm not scared of bears. I'm only scared of flashbacks. When did this start? Well, it all started... <laughs> that joke is way too old to be funny anymore. <laughs> Case in point, if we're laughing at it, it's probably not funny anymore. Uh, I'm I'm a happy girl. <laughs> I like it the honey. You like it dash twenty four too? 
Hey, you were just walking- Hey, was that the scarf from Doctor Who? No. Is that the crystal from the Dark Crystal? No. Game Theory, are all the crystals in Banjo-Kazooie the Dark Crystal? No. Game Theory, is that really a mirror or is it a path to another dimension? It's actually just a window that you can see the ice key through, which you can actually get. Because it's in another dimension. Game no. Theory. <sighs> I'm not going to get on that. <laughs> Uh, because then I know I will upset some people. Are you going to get on me? Not now, later. <laughs> We're just full of innuendo and peach tea today. <laughs> hey, I I'm not the one full of... Neither of us are full of peach tea. I have diet lemon tea and you have raspberry. Yeah, but I bought a peach tea to go along with it. Well... Fine, then. You are full of peach tea. Exactly. Thank you for reiterating my point. Peach tea that's going to come out of your... Don't say it. <laughs> it's going to come out of your... <laughs> Cut that out, editor. <laughs> Which is me. Future me. Censor it with the, the censor sound effect from Perfect Hair Forever. What was that sound you wanted me to use? What? You know, the sound of... <laughs> okay, if I remember right, we can't actually get up there to get that jiggy yet. We gotta go to Gobi's Valley and do... Well, no, we can't get jiggy with it. <sighs> I think that's the second time I've made that joke it in is this like episode. It's like the fifth time. In this episode. <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's not so bad for the for the people who are watching because they can you, you know they they've got a day or so between episodes, but me I have to sit here and listen to that stupid joke every time you want to make it. Burgles out in the woods today. Thank you all for tuning in to this extra long episode. We're going to stop now. We're gonna stop. In the name of love. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>